Well, good morning. It is another project day. And since this video is being posted on a Sunday morning, could we just be like Matt's off-road recovery and, and Sundays or, or project day videos? No, we're not going to do that. My life doesn't have a schedule, so my channel doesn't have a schedule. I really just wanted to say Matt's off-road recovery in a video so that I get more views. It actually works. Uh, but anyway, uh, my other riser showed up. So I have both risers now, and those things right there are 70 pounds each, and I've got nowhere good to put them. I do have some room in that box where they would fit, but I'm starting to get concerned about how much weight these boxes are actually going to hold before they decide... They don't want to play this game anymore and just like leave so i think i'm going to weld some mounts on the other side over there that will hold these and my hitch attachment on top of them uh, so that's project number one project number two is over here uh, we had some new concrete poured under this uh, kind of carport we have here so i'll take this gravel and fill in and make it so we can drive in and out smooth but first we got to pick up the five million nails like everywhere you look across this whole area because the concrete crew did this when they pulled out the forms is pull out the nails and just chucked them so all over here all over there in the grass where like Riley plays and all that is just nails everywhere you cannot look anywhere without there being nails so got to clean that up and then do some tractor work then we have some fan mail to open just kidding this is not fan mail this is just more accessories i bought for the truck so i have to open that up and figure out where we're going to put even more stuff and then after all that we got to go down and fix the gate again and then there's definitely more stuff i just cannot think of what it is right now so let's get started on this one i remembered the other thing we're doing uh, i got new tires and wheels for my wife's jeep uh, these are a much better winter and ice tire than the one she has on there now So I found a whole set off a of gladiator. That's the exact same size as what she runs uh, For a price I couldn't pass up so I bought them and we are gonna put drip studs in them just like we did last year These things worked really well last year on both her Jeep and my pickup and we will pull them right back out And then keep running those tires through the summer uh, But I bought a whole bunch more and no, this is not sponsored or given to me or any weird stuff like that by Grip Studs. I just went on their website and bought these just like anybody else. No discount, no nothing. I just bought them. But Grip Stud, hear me out. These work really well. I'll give you that. But, huh? 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 Think about it. Okay, first things first. Here is my new wireless light bar to put on the back of the truck no more running cords even though you can if you want uh they had a pink one that i really wanted to get but uh this one has a longer battery life so i was sensible and got this one but uh i would have got the pink one now, this is a diamond chain that does a diamond pattern on the tire uh and it's just a single it goes over one tire only and the diamond pattern is a hell of a lot smoother driving down the road than the cross link pattern like those ones now my thought is I just have one pair of these diamond pattern chains uh, to throw on when I don't need much but need chains. I can just throw on one drive axle on the outside and have some nice grip and all that to go when I really need like nasty weather, towing, big mountain stuff. Then I throw the big three rail chains on that are a big process to put on and all that. This should be pretty quick and easy and get going again for like lighter weather. So that's the idea. Now my thought is put that right there and I put that right there and I make a mount here uh, on the bed that mounts that one there and that one there and then this can drop into the top here like that and then the fifth wheel plate can pin back to the top where it belongs and this whole setup can store right here. That's the idea. All right, so we got these sitting where they're gonna need to sit on here. I traced around them with a marker and uh, we're gonna grind down to some bare metal here. We're gonna weld our tabs on to hold these in place and this will sit on top of it just like that with the fifth wheel up there. And since I don't wanna start the generator just yet, that's how I power my shop. Uh, we have EcoFlow, not the Delta. This is the River 2 Pro. 
And this little tiny thing here is the River 2. So this thing will do up to 1600 watts with its X-Boost technology thing it has in there. And it has 11 different ways of putting out power and you can use all of them simultaneously. We're gonna use it to run the grinder to run this so we'll be able to see how many watts the grinder is actually pulling. The handy thing about this one and this one is if you plug them into like AC wall, uh, they'll charge from zero to 100%, not to 80 like most rate them at, to 100% in less than an hour. If you're using solar, which you can charge them by solar as well, both of them, uh, I think it's three hours and they'll charge from zero to 100% on solar. So they both have the same type of battery as the Delta unit that I did the canoe test with. I'll link that video at the end of this video. Uh, it's an LPF battery that has a life cycle of 3000 cycles. Uh, so they're gonna last super long time. So if you saw my review on the EcoFlow Delta 2, you know how I feel about EcoFlow and their products. These are basically scaled down versions of that. They're, they're great. I've used and abused the hell out of them and they've been nothing but good to me. Uh, these are just smaller versions. Basically, this one's like only 11 pounds. This one is tiny. Look at it and it's like seven and a half pounds or so. Uh, but one feature that this one has, I'm not sure if this one does, and since I don't know for certain, I'm not gonna pretend that I do, but this one has a feature that hits uh, really close to home to me since uh, my life is quite literally dependent on a medical device not shutting off many times. Uh, this has a feature where it's an emergency backup mode. So say you have a medical device or any device that needs to run full time. But let's say a medical device that's, that's not a grinder, but we're going to pretend it's this grinder. You take your not a grinder medical device, plug it into this, plug this into the wall and then your not a grinder is running off of the wall power bypassing this unit's battery and this unit is keeping its battery topped off and then if wall power dies for some reason the uh, power automatically switches over to battery off of this unit and keeps your device powered and going so then you don't have to worry about your device whatever it is shutting off in the middle of the night or when a power outage happens while you're at work or anything like that this will take over and run it and run it for quite a long time and keep you going. But for now, we're going to use this one to grind up our spots on the bed. And then we're going to take this one down to the gate at the bottom of the hill to do some work on the gate that I need to do that I need power for. And I'm going to try to run this grinder off of this tiny little unit. So there will be a link down in the description uh, where you can get these. There's a discount. I don't know what the discount is at the top of my head, so I'll put it right here on the screen. And uh, it's also an affiliate link, so I get a little cut of that too, which helps this channel out. So EcoFlow, highly recommend their stuff. Been using and abusing it for quite a while. Go check them out. That should work. Dear concrete crew, bleepy words. Thanks a lot. Okay, so now that mess is cleaned up. We're headed down the hill to go fix the gate. And people said the brakes don't work. They work just fine. Oh yeah, I'm not going to show you the code. Duh, look away. Oh, looks like we also got some packages. Okay, so the problem we're having here is this arm, when it's all the way closed, this gate is hitting up against the post here and this still has some pull to it, so it's kind of binding up. Uh, something moved, because it used to not do that, now it does that. So to fix that, you need to slide this clamp over like a half inch, but you see this little bars in the way and if I move it over all the way to the other side then this one would hit here unless I move it all the way to the other side of this and if I move this that far then the gate's gonna sit 
out here, I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna cut this little bar off and then slide this up against that and that should give us what we need. So to do that, we're just gonna plug our grinder into a little power station on the back here and uh, cut it. You're really gonna have to knock that off. Don't worry, I was squinting. All right, all done. That is pretty cool. This is, if I can open it, the Morflate Tire Repair Kit. Uh, it's got pliers and plastic wrap direction but the important part tire plugs razor blades the tire goop and the installation tools and I bought this to keep in this truck because I have 10 tires I'm gonna be going in and out of lots of job sites and places like that where there's nails or apparently my own damn driveway so tire repair kit oh check it out it even comes with valve stems these aren't the valve stems for a, a big truck but I didn't realize it here wow a lot of valve stems, cool. But what's even better than getting a tire repair kit is getting a tire repair kit just full of Halloween candy for this Halloween. So, uh, link is in the description below. Uh, I actually paid for this like full price. This is no like give to me thing, but I do have an affiliate link for Morflate. That is down below. Highly recommend their stuff. And they recommend it just even a little bit more now. All right, so now it is time to figure out how many of these we are going to put in these tires and uh, they're as easy as just screw them right in like that and you're done. Uh, then they come right back out too if you want. That simple. Now last year something people said uh, that they were wrong about is uh, when you put them all in a line they don't work because one cuts a groove through the ice and the next one just goes through that same groove and doesn't do anything and that is 100% incorrect if you are moving at all. If you're sitting in one exact same spot, not moving a millimeter in any direction and spinning your tires, yeah, this one cuts a groove through the ice, this one goes to that same groove, doesn't do anything. But if you are moving, whether you got your brakes locked up skidding, you're sliding, whatever, if you're moving even a millimeter forward at all, each one is getting fresh ice because you're on fresh ice. So there's no need to put them all over in a crazy random pattern so that they hit fresh ice. If you're moving, even if all of them were in a dead straight line right around the tire, they're always getting fresh ice. And yes, I just noticed that Grumpy is on my roof. I should probably go see what he's doing. What are you doing up there? Working on his roof. Well, I see that. What's up? This is Santa Claus trying to find the chimney a little early. No chimney. Can't go down. Hey, I brought the tractor over, smoothed all the gravel out, kind of evened it up there, just slightly downhill off the concrete so water runs away, even though water doesn't run out here. It's all sand that just goes in the ground. But spread the rest out here, hosed all this off, let it dry out, then we're gonna start parking in here. So next up, uh, Jeep. All right, so I'm hoping to get one more good uh, camping trip in before deep freeze and snow and I'm busy uh, doing recovery stuff all winter with no free time. So just trying to figure out a good layout here. Um, I still got to put that third seat in here. This is a temporary just for when you're going on trips and stuff I can plan it. But I want to put that uh, little tracking right here. I forget what exactly it's called. It rivets in and, and you tie stuff. Uh, you can move the things. Hold on. This stuff right here. Just, you know, screws in, rivets in, whatever. You got these little rings, you move them. Tie downs. So yeah, that stuff down each side of this box, I think it'd be very handy. But uh, this is the dual zone, uh, 45 liter set power fridge. Uh, I got that as a freezer. This is a fridge right now. Uh, this lid actually, I just realized opens either way. If you get it at just the right angle, it pops out of there and then pops in the other side and you can make it go whatever you want. So that's handy. 
Uh, this is being powered by the EcoFlow River 2. Uh, just using the normal little one. Look how tiny that is, that's crazy. Uh, the, the River 2 Pro, a little bigger, but still very small. I'm um, using this one, it is power in the fridge. As you can see, one side's at three degrees, one's at 35. Uh, fridge plugged into here. This is charged by the Jeep when it's running. So when the Jeep is running, there's power going through topping this off. When I shut the Jeep off, this has, you know, full battery and runs the fridge and then can keep all my camera stuff charged right here. And then I can carry a whole bunch of gear in here and then everything will be like kind of secure and I won't have a bunch of loose stuff in the passenger compartment. Because as someone who has rolled a truck and had all the stuff fly around, the less loose stuff in here, the better. Now you may also have noticed that my shirt and my hat changed halfway through the video and that's because today is now tomorrow. And uh, yesterday when we were doing the first part of these projects, I got interrupted by a phone call and went to work and you will see that video later. Uh, so and now is the next day where we're finally finishing up yesterday's project. So I do got to say thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and is the reason I decided to even film any of this today. Uh, there is a link and, uh, uh, down in the description of this video to EcoFlow. It's an affiliate link so uh, you get good stuff and it does help out my channel. And one thing I like about uh, the EcoFlow stuff, I've, I've reviewed some products, you see people commenting about it in the comments. Uh, in the first review I did of an EcoFlow unit, in the comments, all the comments I got from people who've owned EcoFlow were great. That, and that's a better review than what I could give because they've had the stuff longer than I have. But it, everyone who's had one of these and said so in the comments had nothing but good things to say about them, which uh, just gives me further confidence in their product. Now Set Power Fridges is not sponsoring this video, but I do have an affiliate link with them as well. It is a little farther down in the comments. Uh, both really good products that I've been very happy with so go check them out uh, both help support this channel so very much appreciate it all right now for that third seat I bought a tractor seat it was the best thing I could find to fit this space because it's narrower in the back and wider in the front and this kind of does that it has its own built-in seat belt has its own slider tracks ready to go I just need to build a framework for these and it'll fit that spot right there that's obviously not gonna be there permanent but uh, fits really nice in there. So yeah, here is my uh, seat base mock-up battery. Don't worry, I put some over the post so it's not gonna like shock my butt or anything. But uh, why I'm using this battery to prop up this seat for mock-up is a funny story. So these guys here, yeah, those ones, uh, they reached out, said, hey, we got these great batteries. We'd love for you to try them out. Do you need any batteries? I'm like, well, I need a new battery for my Jeep, not this one, the, the Cherokee. Uh, but will, will your batteries work good for, uh, you know, in a Jeep? super heavy winching stuff like that like yep that's perfect they would be great for that i'm like okay it's going to be in like negative below zero temperatures a lot and yeah no problem our battery's great for that we'll send you one if you put it in your video cool send one out so they sent this life 04 battery and when i got to looking at the specs on it here they are uh yeah they're nowhere near rated for uh, a starter for one or deep cycle winching more importantly and number two they're not rated for below freezing temperatures uh, they have a battery management thing in there that uh, controls the charge and all that stuff but when it gets below freezing it shuts off won't charge the battery meaning when i'm out in the snow doing heavy winching draining that battery and overloading it uh, the alternator will not be able to recharge it and i will end up stranded so they completely were 100 percent wrong or told me some stories to get me to show their battery but I'm a man of my word. And I said, if they sent it to me, I would show it in the video. So it's not gonna work in that Jeep, but there. Uh, I found a good use for it and I'm showing it in a video. It's, it's perfect for propping up a seat or using as a block to set stuff on. So there you go. Now this isn't just me being a jerk trying to trash a company on camera. I was very specific about what I would be using it for, the temperatures I'd be using it in, the loads we placed on it, and they assured me that this battery would be great for that and sent it out. And then uh, I got it, saw the specs listed on the side, did my own research, realized they were completely full of it, reached back out to them to say, uh, hey, what the heck, or did you send me the wrong battery? And this is now a month later and I've gotten no response. And then about a few days ago, they reached out and said, uh, you said you would put our battery in a video, so you have to show it in a video. Fine, there you go. All right, well, that is 
about it for today's projects other than just doing some cleaning up and reorganizing the toolbox on this thing it has been very busy it did four toes over the mountain into the valley uh, this last week so it needs a bath really bad a little reorganizing so I'm gonna get on that uh, again thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and uh, thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed my ramblings and we'll see you next time